today we are going to see how to create a UML use case diagram. So for that, we are going to choose this option called create use case. Okay. So once you use this create use case option, you can see the set of tools that are used to create the use case diagram is being listed out here. Now here, using this uh, vending machine example, we'll try to create this use case by understanding this example here. So here in the vending machine example, we have different use cases that have been identified. That is buy beverage, perform scheduled maintenance, make repairs and the lower items. So that is for each of these functionalities, which in turn is the identified use case, we have to identify the set of actors involved here. So the actors involved here are three set of actors here. So that is the first one is the customer who is going to buy the beverage from the vending machine. The second one is the repair technician who is going to check in case if there are any errors or repair required in the vending machine and at the same time he will be responsible for the maintenance of this machine so here the technician is being involved here and lastly we have the stock clerk who is going to regularly load the items into the vending machine so here using this argo urinal we'll try to create the same use case diagram To create the use case diagram, we'll just choose this rectangle option. Just click and drop the rectangle here. Within this rectangle, we are just going to list out all the use cases by choosing this new use case option. Just click on this new use case option. We have four use cases here just click on this four use cases and then you can just align them so you can just click on this use case option right so next comes the actors there right so here we have three set of actors Right. So once we have these use cases and actors, we'll name these use cases. Right. So here the first one we have is by beverage. So second we have is maintenance. Right. And then third we have make repair pairs and lastly we have loading items right so these are the four use cases and then now we are going to list out the actors here so the actor here the first one is the buyer right so next we have this repair technician Lastly, we have this stock clock. Right. Once we have listed out the use cases and the actors, we have to just show the relationship between these actors and then the use cases. So for that, you can just use the simple notation here. Just use this.
once we have created the relationship between these use cases and the actors this completes our use case diagram thank you viewers for watching so hope to see you soon with the next video